right, Boss Tech back here. Now look, everybody's got a table in their kitchen and everybody's got a big dining room table and you got to make sure it's covered so it doesn't get runt. You know, runt, you know what that word runt means? Anyway, I'm here with Ileana and she is going to talk to us about her table covers. And actually you got a little bit more than that. Goes. So what's going on here? These are French tablecloths from the south part of France, from Provence. They're stain resistant. We have different materials. We have cotton, we got polyester, we have oil cloth, and they're all resistant. You can spill wine, coffee, they're machine washable, and some are not machine washable at all, like the oil cloth. They're, you don't need to wash them at all. I import them from France. I have soaps, dish towels. I bring them and I sell them in home garden shows, many shows that I do during the year. They're excellent products. Everybody has a tablecloth, but not everybody has one that is stain resistant. That's the difference between our tablecloths and the normal ones. So what makes them stain resistant? The materials, like the polyester, obviously it's polyester. The oil cloth is cotton, treated with linseed oil. And the cottons here, they have a material that's Teflon inducted in the, in the tablecloth. So when you wash it, they come and they come to the original way. So you can still spill wine, whatever, and they stay the same all the time. So, okay, so if I was gonna, if, if I'm gonna buy one, I'd say I want to buy one of the ones back here in the in the stain resistance. What's the average cost on that? Uh, between forty five to hundred and twenty dollars, depending on the size. If you have one that's huge, like a big table, that's right. like one ten. The other ones are between forty five, sixty five, seventy five, like that. Well, that is absolutely cool. Okay, so where can we find you online? What's what is your what is your what your website over here is? Um, Shez, we'll make sure we put that on the bottom. That is awesome. All right, folks. If you need a, if you if you need a tablecloth, and you we all do, call Liliana. She'll take care of you. We'll see you. Right, we'll get back to you right after this. Hey, everybody. We're back at the second day of the Tampa Home Show March 2019 edition. I have to say that because there's multiple multiple shows. Time this this is here in their year. So we're here with Perry Tata. Yep. And Perry Tata's got a freaking piece of equipment over there that I think is actually, okay, I have a pool <laughs> and I'm already going, okay, I got to get one of these at the pool, right? So this is called the, sens sen the Sensational Land and Pool Pal. Wow, yes. So tell me about this monster because I think this is cool. It is an interchangeable game system for your pool or for your backyard. It's great for hot tubs. It's great for camping. It's great for our, you know, when you go out you know, tailgating. Oh, so I don't um, have to have this just by my pool. No, 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 no. I it's, can take this to my tailgating. I can go to the park yes. and, and bring this with me. And I'm yes. Always... Like I had a guy that's got an RV whole set up and he wants to start putting him in the RV so people can have something to do when they go out camping. Right. But it's, you know, it's called the land and pool pad because it's for the pool too. It's a good thing for the pool because you can just drop it next to the pool. You can interchange 12 different games. Wow. So we got, you know, retractable volleyball. We got basketball. We got pong. We got, you know, a variety of different games on top of a really cool accessories like the cooler that that you know and everything just drops into the activity base so the activity base is the main system and that's what's got the wheels on it we can wheel it around right and we're showing some b-roll of that right now so oh, people okay. get an idea of what okay. we're talking so the, about yeah so the activity base is what holds everything and right then what you do is whenever you want to play a game you just unscrew one game put another one on and you can play on both sides at the same time so somebody could be playing in the pool yeah and then People could be playing darts outside the pool. Yeah, I mean, wow. they could be playing, you know, pong outside the pool on the cement while other people play inside the pool. Right, right. So it's, you can play both both sides. That is so, I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm going to read this. It's You've got ring it, pong, horseshoes, flip and toss, ladder ball, volleyball, draw it, which is like a hangman type of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's right? a dictionary type thing, uh, yes. Skip it in, uh, darts, tumble it, washer toss, and basketball. And then accessory-wise, you've got a solar light. Cell phone, sunglass holder, a, a serving tray, small storage box, a towel rack, uh, some theme panels, large storage box, uh, beverage, sunglass holder, cooler, and a front table. And it's got a cool top. Yes. So you can take any umbrella and just put it on a unit. So if you have your own umbrella, you just pop your, you know, open it up and it holds, it holds the umbrella. Too. Right. So it's and, and then this is really cool yeah then we have like what's called theme panels those right. the theme panels are like you know they're they're uh durable canvas 
that drops into the side of the base when you're at the pool so that when you're playing games in the pool, mm -hmm. they, your game balls and your game pieces don't go outside the pool. You got to jump up and go get them oh, every time. So that's they'll kind of bounce back yes, to you. Yes, that's what the theme panels are for. And so there's a lot to it. We've been working on it for about four years now, and this is the first time we have actually are introducing it to the market is at this show. Right, okay. Now, I'm looking at this. It, it looks to me like it's made out of very sturdy PVC and another type of... Yeah, it's called Centra Board. And it's all just, you can just clean it with your hose. You just wash it down and it you know, won't rust or anything. It's all a plastic, it's called Centra. It's like a plastic material. Okay, now I see here you got four different specials going yes. on. You've got the kit one, which is, um, and we like, I'm not, so this is, are these shows special pricing? Yeah, these are just for the show. Oh, okay. okay. So we really won't pricing. get into price, but yeah. you, have, you have multiple kits. So, you know, you can just kind of add on what right. you need. Right, so what, what you can do is you can just say, I want to get the activity base. And let's say you want bat, you want to play bath. you don't have basketball, you don't have volleyball. A lot of people like the volleyball because you can just pull it. It's retractable and you lock it to the other side. You can lock it to a tree or you can lock it to another activity base. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And, and you can start playing. And you can, like, you know, for tailgating, you can put one on, a, on one pickup truck, mm -hmm. put one on another pickup truck, level it, you know what I mean? Because it, 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 the poles go up and down and just start playing outside within a few minutes. That's absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah. So where can we, where, where can people find you, this uh, at? Landandpoolpal.com. So it's L-A-N-D-A-N-D-P-O-O-L-P-A-L. And I love the phone number, 844-IT'S-COOL. Cool. Yes, 844-IT'S-COOL. That's cool. cool. Yes. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so now you're located out of michigan michigan yes. so and so you can ship these anywhere in the world basically yes. yes so all of our international people if you want something cool from the states this is what you need right here perry thanks for stopping okay, by our, our, thanks for letting me drag you out of your yeah, booth because I, I know your poor wife is over there by yeah, herself getting yeah. waylaid by all the people that are here <laughs> and remember 844 it's cool and we'll talk to you guys later Hey there, all you people out there. Welcome back to WeBeam TV. We're at the Tampa Bay Home Show 2019, August version. This is going to be great. It's raining outside, so you know what? Everybody should be in here. I love it when it rains outside. That means we're full. That's cool because it's a good thing. thing. But I found Nick Shriver, and they are, he is with the Decorating Elves. And no, he does not have wings. I asked them that already. He kind of looked at me like I was weird, but I'm weird. That's what I'm doing here anyway. So the decorating elves, you just take it. You you take all the stress out of the holidays. So that's, that's what, what it sounds like to me. Yeah, honestly, that's what we try to do. So decorating elves, we're a full service outdoor lighting and decor company. So what that means is we're going to take care of everything. So we do outdoor landscape lighting. We do outdoor lighting. We do holiday lighting, theme lighting, event lighting. So right now it's late up mid to late August, you know, we're kind of settling out of the summer, waiting for the rain to clear, waiting for the sun to set a little earlier, yep. as well as we just got our kids off to school, which is really great. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go into the fall, which is when we're going to start to really get okay. busy. Um, our holiday lighting service starts to pick up. And so we include Halloween into that. It's kind of a precursor to the bigger um, holiday season. Right. And um, the Halloween piece has become very popular over the last decade or so, continues to grow. So what we do for Halloween is we do a lot of um, a lot of lights, a lot of lights on trees, stuff that's similar to the Christmas service, but we're just doing a little different color. So right. we're doing a little more orange, a little more purple, sometimes that lime green. All right, and then we're incorporating a lot of props into that. And what that means is we're incorporating coffins and skeletons and tombstones and skulls and jack-o'-lanterns into a theme kind of display right right and then we literally roll that right into our holiday service and our holiday service is a turnkey service where we come out we do the design for you we figure everything out we make it look amazing we come back we do all the work we provide all the material we automate it uh either through the sun or through a clock timer we service it throughout the season as needed we come back in January. We take it all down. We take it all with us. So if there's, so say like in October, which we've gotten before these bad storms that roll in mm -hmm. late, uh, you guys will come back and go, okay, we'll fix all the stuff that came down. Our lights are out. Yeah, or, the storms. You know, last year we had some high wind right at the beginning of November, yeah. right after, right after Halloween, and then we had it right before Santa showed up. So, yeah, that's part of the service. It's definitely not the part that we enjoy, but we definitely enjoy it when the customer is happy with us coming back out and taking care of it. So 
you know, those kinds of things happen. We do everything we can on the front end to make it minimize right. it. You can't control nature. Yeah, I mean, Mother Nature's going to do what it does. Yep. You just have to be, you know, aware of it. And then as soon as the storms blow through, we kind of dispatch and then we go right to fixing it, just like the elves would. One of the great thing about the elves is, is that we kind of take care of that piece. That's right. And most of the time people are like, oh, I was just getting ready to call and tell you that was broken. But yeah, obviously you were already all, all over it. So our goal is to ch just kind of address it and kind of be like the real elves where we're behind the scenes taking care of things. And you acknowledge that it was there, but you really didn't realize that we brought a whole crew in to do it. Right. Okay. Let's, let's talk about some lights now. Yeah, absolutely. Back in the day, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, for us to flood the light, flood, you know, to, to light the yard up with these big old honking monster lights that we put in there, they were about that big around, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll, when I was young, probably similar age to you, I mean, they had these huge halogen type floods, yeah. these mercury vapors, right. um, the metal halides, and they were... They were like this huge, this big. Massive. And as the technologies continue to improve, you know, those have gotten smaller, brighter, better. And the LEDs is really what the market is now. Right. And the LED is really, excuse me, um, gotten to the point where uh, it's pretty much predominantly what, what the market is. Even here in the studio, you know, 15 years ago, we would be sweating yes. because the lights were so hot. Right. And, you know, you have to make sure that there was no material around them. Right. So, yeah, the, the, the fixtures have improved significantly in that regard, as well as they're hugely improved in energy consumption. Okay, so I, I just want everybody out there to know that Nick and these Nick and his guys over there, free, they're, your guys are awesome. You have one guy that if he, he dyed that beer blonde or, or white, he'd be Santa Claus. So Yeah, he's pretty cool. Phil's, right. a, Phil's a great guy. Eduardo's our other guy. Eduardo, who is here, is actually our... Um, branch manager in our in our brandon location okay i'm i'm the branch manager and and kind of oversees all the operation but i oversee our clearwater location so we're we actually service the entire tampa bay market from our two locations okay and and you do more than just lighting i mean just for christmas and halloween absolutely you actually you ha you have designers right so yeah actually all three of us that you just mentioned phil being the other one is it feels one of our designers um, and then the other two of us that are managers also do design work. Um, although most of the time, if you, you if you call, you're going to get to meet Phil first. Okay. Right. And Phil's the nice guy. He's got a great personality. He knows really how to get in, t in touch with people and, and make a project look amazing. And then um, if we need to, we'll also value engineer it on the back end and design all the components. And that's the stuff that's a little more techie. Right. And we usually don't get into until we have projects okay. um, on hand. Now, and also, you're not just a bunch of guys that decide, hey, let's go hang some lights up, and it's all cool. <laughs> you actually, you're educated, and you stay educated because you belong to two big national groups, right? So, one of, so first off, we've been doing this since two, I've been doing this since 2003, so 17 years, plus years or minus. This, right. Yeah, I've kind of been in this industry, and what's, what's really, what's really great about when I came up in this industry when I was a young man, and still a young man, but, um, is I kind of came up with with the way they were doing it for a long time. Right. Uh, and then as the LED and all this technology started to come into the market, we were actually really familiar with the, with, with what was going on. And we really played a really vital role in in learning what that 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 stuff was as it came to market. And now we're very seasoned in it. And now we completely understand it. Right. So not only do we understand the new technology, we also understand the old technology and how it all incorporates. Right. Um, so, yeah. And then we also stay up on the market. So one, I'm, I'm very fortunate in the fact that I do get to teach some seminars, being part of a national organization called the Association of Outdoor Lighting Professionals. That's also known as the AOLP. You can find them at AOLPonline.org. Um, and that's basically just a North American group of professionals in this industry that get together to make sure that we continue to raise the industry standards. So all of our company is trained on those standards as well as, you know, we're an active member in that organization. Okay. See, I, I love it. You're educated. You're up on the new tech. You know, you help the design. You got the people to come and do it. You take, to me, that's just taking the headache out of everything right there. And so where do people find you? So one of the ways you can find us is www.decoratingelves.com. And we really encourage people to go there because 
not only can you find us there, but you can find information there that is really helpful to maybe something that you want to do or get, get you more information. So we have design tips there, uh, you know, not just like not just for like uplighting, backlighting, path lighting, the difference between silhouetting um, and showing it and shadowing. We also have how to program your timers, which is really helpful for a yeah. lot of people. Yes. Like is. when that timer goes, d goes haywire, you could just click on the one that matches your picture and the instructions on how to program it are right there. So you're educating people. Yeah. There's a lot well. of resources on our website too. So we encourage you to go there for those resources. And then there's a little bit about us. There's a lot of pictures and then there's all obviously the contact us stuff, right? So you can find us there. You can also find us, um, on our 800 number, which is 1-800-MY-LIGHTS. Uh, light. That's awesome. My lights, right? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's L-I-T-E-S, so it's 1-800-M-Y-L-I-T-E-S. That's our 800 number. And that'll, you from there, you can either dial into our Brandon location or into our Clearwater location, um, and we can address anything in the Tampa Bay area from there. Nick, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. I absolutely. appreciate it. This was absolutely phenomenal. Hey, look, if you want that headache gone, these are the guys you need to call. No more getting on the ladders, getting on the roof, hitting your sprinkler lines because you dug in the wrong place to put absolutely. something in there. Give these guys a call. The decoratingelves.com. See you guys later. Everybody, we're back. This is we're actually in the closing hours of the Central Florida Home Show and Expo. And I found somebody. Actually, I didn't find you, <laughs> Michael. My one of my camera guys found you. This is Ari. Hi. Her last name is not Thailand, but what is what does the Thailand mean? So at Gatorland, um, when they when we do our name tags, we don't go by off where we're from. We go for our dream destination. So my dream destination is Thailand. I would like to backpack across Thailand. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Wet, but it would be cool. <laughs> it's a dream of mine, and I'm going to make it a reality. There you go, girl. <laughs> okay, so you are representing Gatorland, yes. and you have a special friend around you. Yes, this here is banana. Banana is an albino ball python, and these guys are native to Africa. Uh, but these guys are awesome as like house pets and stuff like that uh, because they only get about four to six feet long. Um, they don't get very big. They also have a very docile temperament. Okay. And they're constrictors, so they just squeeze into little balls. Oh, okay, so they actually get right in there, and, and so she put it on the table a while ago, right? <laughs> and it went from it went, and I'm like. Well, that's interesting. Looks like a ball of Play-Doh. And she goes, well, that's how they do it. It's kind of funny, though. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell on her. So as she walked up to get the booth, right? We have our micro studio here. And she goes, I'm afraid of this. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You have a <laughs> snake wrapped around your neck. And you're telling me you're going to be afraid to come in here. No, no, no. It does not work that way. So what does Gatorland do? Uh, so Gatorland, um, we focus on a lot of educational things, um, especially with um, um, snakes and alligators native to Florida. Um, we're very, we like to concentrate on like invasive species right now, um, because as you probably heard in um, the Everglades and stuff, there is um, an invasive species out there and it's called the Burmese python. So those guys look just like, I like banana here, but they get about 18 to 20 feet long. <laughs> um, so those guys are not native to here. Basically what was happening is people had them as house pets, didn't realize that the snake was gonna get really big. They released it into the Everglades. So now they're kind of taking over. Um, they're eating all of the wildlife out there and um, you know, eventually they're gonna have to have another place to go to find some more wildlife. Right, exactly. Um, so that's a lot, um, a lot of our focus right now is focusing on that. But we do have a bunch of animals there, not just gators and snakes. Um, we do have bobcats, panthers, tortoises, aviaries, goats, and all that cool stuff. Really? As well. mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't know. I, I, I thought you guys, you know, I, I, this is what I know. I thought you guys were, I knew you guys did gators uh -huh. and snakes. I yes. did not know that you did all the other. Yep. We have a bunch of things there. Um, we have Florida Panthers and um, those are native to here as well. Do you actually so, have a Panther? Yep. We do have, we have two Florida Panthers and then we have a couple Bobcats as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bob, that's it. I love Bobcats. They're the I think they're <laughs> super cool. And they're fun. They're, they're like and, big old cats. Yeah. It's like, I had something that looks like that at home. <laughs> that is so cool. So how long have you been with Gatorland? I've been with Gatorland for two years now. 
and um, it was actually a dream of mine. Um, I grew up in Texas. Um, my very first pet as a child, um, I'm an army brat, so my very first pet was as a child was actually a baby crocodile when oh, I lived wow. in Panama. And okay. so it was always my dream to work with alligators and crocodiles. And when I moved to Florida, um, I went to school in Tampa, and then I found out about Gatorland, and um, it was just my dream. I met some people there. They told me to apply, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> Wow, that is a, so. Where do we find Gatorland? So Gatorland is about 15 minutes from here. It's right off Orange Blossom Trail. Um, it's going towards the Kissimmee area. We are still considered Orlando. Um, but it's 14501 South Orange Blossom Trail in Orlando. And do you guys have a website? We do. It's Gatorland Orlando Gatorland dot com, and then you can find us on Instagram, um, Facebook, and Twitter at Gatorland Orlando. You have, you're just a ball of energy. Thank that is you. so awesome. It's, it, we, look, we've been here all day. We're all tired. And <laughs> this is the energy that comes to the booth. I love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much Thank for coming for over and, and showing us. Banana. Yeah, banana. <laughs> Even it's though you're not, you're a, you're banana. not a banana. I'm you're not just a banana, I know. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to pet the snake. Anyway. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back shortly with some more folks that we pulled from the showroom floor. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, we are back. I am Dylan Gaston, and we are at the Tampa Home Show at the Convention Center downtown. So it is open until 5 o'clock today. So come on down. We have a lot of great vendors who are here, all kinds of stuff for the home. And I'm excited to have with me right now Don Reese from Arcadia Resorts. How exciting is that? Oh, thank you so much for having me. What a, what a treat and a special blessing today. I, who knew? <laughs> I know. See that? All right, yeah. good. So tell us all about Arcadia Resorts. Everybody wants to go on vacation. Oh, my gosh. You know, How first exciting. I have to tell you, and you know where Krabby Bills is behind us. Um, yes. Right. There's a Holiday Inn, and then there's the uh, Splash Harbor Resort. And my husband bought me the year pass for the last two years. So I've been at that uh. Lazy River. You have to go. Oh, you have to go flow. Oh, it sounds fun. It's amazing. So what we're doing here is we have cruises for $49. I like cruising too. I do too. <laughs> I'm a cruiser. I'm I'm so dedicated. And we have Norwegian, Carnival, or Royal Caribbean. And you sign up and you get the $50 back, which is amazing. As well as we have other gifts. We can give you Splash Harbor tickets. We can give you Blinker Steakhouse. We have, um, you know, the Tropics Boat Tours, the Aquarium. Nice. So it is really exciting. And I so believe in this and the condos is not a timeshare. Okay, so yeah, let's let's talk about what it actually is. So it's not a timeshare, I understand. No. It's a vacation club. Yes. So explain that to everybody so we know exactly what we're Getting talking about into. and that the difference sure. is yeah so a timeshare you have realtors that sell we're not selling anything it's okay. a club so if you like to travel i mean some people don't like cruises so guess what we have something called land seer air that you can go on uh, a, a resort seven eight days seven nights uh, okay. to one of the higher end resorts we have two tickets to airline or the cruise so you can decide and that's one of my best ones i like to give away and the cruise? Yes. Because you're a cruiser. I'm a cruiser. <laughs> and the great thing about Arcadia is that you have, it's a 90-minute open house presentation. Okay. And once you're done, they show you the beautiful condos and um, and it's so feng shui and the Jimmy Buffett music is playing. They show you the lazy river that is open to the public. So remember, if you're looking for something fun, you don't have to go all the way over the bridge. This is right in your backyard in Indian Rocks Beach, Florida. So does it work? Is it just an Indian Rocks Beach? Well, I guess it's a vacation club, so you can go Oh, all anything. over the world. Okay. Except Hawaii and Alaska. I mean, there's a couple things that they do have some restrictions on, uh, but it is an awesome opportunity. And it's, of course, you do pay the port and tax, okay. which is really which hardly is normal, anything. right? And then you also, um, that's at, yeah, just important tax, and then uh, the forty nine dollars. Okay. Interior room only. You can always upgrade. Okay. Now, um, how does the vacation club itself work? Is it weeks that you buy, or that's is it a good just... question. I'm in marketing and PR, and that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to set you up for the tour. <laughs> ah, all right. So that's the stuff that's discussed at the tour. Exactly. So by going on the tour, though, you get um, entered into, I guess, uh, the cruise, right? Well, actually, you buy the cruise ahead of time. Okay. From me, I'm usually the concierge over there, and so nice. I'm at Harbor Side, or I'm over at the other place at Holiday Inn. And you can call me uh, once you, you say, "Don, I really want to do this." You sign up, 
and you'll get that back on a $50 check. So you'll have that back. We just want to make sure you show up. <laughs> it's all about, yeah. Yeah. And then also we have other gifts. If you say, I don't want a cruise, I want maybe four water park tickets, and I want a Blinker Steakhouse, or I want a $50 check, another, there's other gifts that I can give you. And we have okay. a list. It's pretty amazing. Okay. Very good. Yeah. How exciting. Have you, have you been doing this a while? You know, I've been in the travel business. If I do this, I was a flight attendant for many years. <laughs> <laughs> corporate and there you go. 27s <laughs> and I got into the cruising business as well and, and now I'm with Arcadia and I you can see that I believe in this because I am a lazy river person and I have to get you there to go down the lazy river yes. and just go relax. I would love to. I didn't even know that existed over See? there. Where on Indian Rock Beach? Indian Rock Beach, say? behind Krabby Bills, right at the. There's a Holiday Inn marker 33. Then right to the right, you'll see the Splash Harbor Water Park Resort. Go on Facebook and put in Splash Harbor Water Park. Okay. And you'll see on Mondays they have. My gosh, they have a hospitality. And you don't have to be staying at the hotel no. in order to use the no. facilities. Nice. It's one of, there's a rum shack there. There's Jimmy. Iguanas right there. Oh, it sounds like it's just a great way to spend the day. It Maybe is. get some girlfriends and just go and all float down the river. Huh? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's She's do like, it. I'm on. <laughs> I do. And I'm so excited for We Beam TV. I think what you are doing Thank is you. totally amazing and a blessing. And I'm sitting here and my heart is just, I'm like, okay, there's <laughs> something else to my life that I do. And we won't talk about it today, but I definitely am working to be a part of what you do. More to come. Talk about a teaser, huh? Yes, Dawn has more to share with us and more to share with you. So thanks y'all for watching. We are have other great vendors coming up, so stick with us. We'll be back soon. Dawn, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Can I give one hint? Yes. Okay, so here's the hint. Uh, the International Christian Film Festival that I've been yes. involved in, I've been nominated for Best Talk Show Host. That's all I'm gonna tell you for something that has been such a blessing, and I get to walk the red carpet with Lou Gossick and Kevin Sorbo, and that's a hint ah. so i won't go any further but you will see us kevin with... zorbo also known as hercules yes for those of us yes you'll see us remember soon. that movie <laughs> on we beam tv trust me we're we're coming here <laughs> all right everybody back out on the floor the 2019 september version of the central florida home and expo show and expo I, it's it's such a long one it's worth the home show that's right, and this is for the Home Show Show. So I'm here with Christina Jessup, and she is with, is it doTERRA? doTERRA. DoTERRA. So tell me about DoTERRA. DoTERRA means gift of the earth. And basically what we do is we have uh, medical grade oils. They are uh, internal grade. They actually have labels that say for internal use, dilute one drop in four ounces of liquid. And so um, basically this lime has 45 organic lime zest. So we can cook with it. I make salsa and I put two drops of lime oil, one drop of black pepper oil and one drop of cilantro oil. And that's fabulous. And people always comment on um, and then cilantro would last you like six years because you're only using one drop or a toothpick. Um, but also um, for me, uh, they've really changed my life and my health um, using them for um, eternal purposes. OK, so tell, tell us while he my guy is going to be starting to shoot some of your oils. Sure. Tell me what essential oils are really all about. Uh, essential oils are plant-based medicine. So we're just going back to the original form of medicine. Hippocrates, Bible times, Egyptian times, Chinese medicine, uh, Indians. Um, that's what they use was plant-based medicine of the earth. And so doTERRA means gift of the earth. And so we use them um, to help heal and help uh, work within our bodies. Um, and actually what I want to say is doTERRA doesn't heal, treat, or prevent disease. Your body does when you give your body what it needs. And so, yeah, it's, ama it's absolutely amazing. You have a little bit of head tension. You can use peppermint, rub it on your head. It helps relax those blood vessels, helps open up the... the um, uh, and just give you a little bit of support for those uh, occasional tendencies on your okay. head. So now, now you were you were telling me a while ago that not only do you have the product, but you actually train people the proper way to actually use the product because you just don't go willy nilly in using it, correct? Correct. correct. So we have books, um, so you can look up the oils and what they do. But we're all about educational classes, so we're all word of mouth. DoTerra could have put these oils on Walmart and Bed Bath & Beyond, where all essential oils are even in Michael's now. Um, but we are the top quality, largest essential oils in the, in the world. And what we focus on is education. So they put them in our hands so that we could teach you how you can be empowered in your own home without needing uh, a doctor or someone else. Or um, we even use them on our pets. They're safe for your pets. The Dog Whisperer uses them. Um, you, there's many YouTube videos out there that 
He uses doTERRA brand. Um, so they're, they're pure quality oils and you need to have a little bit of education. So I do educational classes all over Florida. Um, and so I have also a website um, where you can uh, purchase oils, but really it's it's more about you getting the education and knowing what to do with them. We cook with them, we clean with them, we have cookbooks on, on my shelf over there, um, and we, we make homemade cleaning products, things like that. Okay, so it's okay. So now I'm gonna have him swing back around here because I want to. I want him to tell me. You've got a. Is this a a delivery system here, or is this something you put in your food, or just rub on your skin? So What's the best way? Diffusers. Let's go over here Let's and I can here. show you. Yeah. So these diffusers actually clean the air. They are uh, aromatic, topical, or internal is the way that we can use them. You can see the internal here. But when you um, have allergies or um, even uh, using the oils diffusing, they kill germs. They promote um, energy in the air. Um, a lot of times in my office, I diffuse for um, um, focus, memory, uh, enhancing, um, just making me focus and, and be sharper. Um, in my bedroom, we use oil for sleeping and then for, my, believe it or not, my husband snores. So we use an oil called Brie that we love to open up the respiratory system. In my house, I use oils that smell like uh, right now fall. And so you, you can buy oils or blend oils and so you're not stuck with one smell. I love that. This is basically um, all of the oils that we have um, and I use them alternating between internal topically and diffusing the oils. All right. So if someone wants to get your beautiful smelling, um, that you would be amazed. The, the, I wish they would invent smell vision because this is absolutely amazing. So where can we find the, your product? Sure. So I have wild orange and peppermint in the diffusers now. Two drops of each one of those. It smells really good. That's what you're smelling. Um, Pure Essence Oils is my company name, and it is doTERRA that I sell. But you can go um, on Facebook and join my Facebook group. I have a website, Pure Essence Oils, or my name's Christina Jessup. Just go to christinajessup.com. You can get some more information there. Um, but I'd love to help educate. Um, I'm passionate about being, I'm called a wellness advocate. I'm passionate about helping people um, find out what they need in their home. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a gift that we have here. These are little miracle bottles, I call them. But whether um, you just have emotional issues or whatever it is, we have a gamut of that. We even have skincare, deodorant, natural uh, toothpaste, things like that that are toxic-free. So it's a toxic-free All right, so if you're looking to just chill out and feel better and help your body heal itself, I think this is the product for you. This, get in touch with this nice lady, and you know what? She will take care of you. We'll be back from the showroom floor after this. Hi, I'm Dylan Gaston with WeBeam TV, and we are back at the Tampa Home Show. Thank you so much for being with us. The show is slowly starting to wrap up, so get down here if you haven't already. We have some great vendors, as I've been uh, interviewing all afternoon, and I have another one with me right now. Michael from Alpha Credit Recovery. Yes. Alpha Credit Recovery. So if your credit report has some things on it yes, that might nice not might not be <laughs> the best light, you can recover from that, you know, being in the mortgage business. So first of all, I'm sorry. Welcome, Michael. Thank, Thank you for thanks, joining thanks me. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, um, you know, being in the mortgage world for the entire my entire life, like I tell people a hundred years, I look good for a hundred, don't you I? You look great. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, people, there's huge misconceptions out there about how uh, their credit score affects them and uh, obviously hugely in buying a house. And some of the things they can do to fix their credit or, or and some of the mm. myths about it. So tell us a little bit about what some of the biggest problems and issues that people come to you with and um, how you're able to fix those things. Sure. Um, the first biggest myth that actually comes to my mind is uh, credit karma. A lot of people don't realize what credit karma essentially is. And it's a it's a networking, it's a marketing um, business. It's a genius business, but it's not a credit reporting company so the scores that people see on their credit karma and there's only two credit bureaus showing on there not three they need all three um it's vantage vantage score so it's a different algorithm different system that calculates your credit score and um when it comes to mortgages they use fico fico everybody heard of fico and mm -hmm. um two four and five and that's that's the scoring used for mortgages and it differs the way the algorithm is calculated so i mean my credit karma is 100 points lower than what my FICO is. See, and, and that could make a big difference in buying difference. a house. The people, um, I get clients that believe that they are ready to purchase a home or, or refinance their home. 
based on what they see on Credit Karma and then they get a reality check. Right. When they come to the mortgage Correct. <laughs> person. And yeah, and I always tell them that as well. I say, you know, Credit Karma, all it is is it's a snapshot. It's a consumer snapshot and that's it. It's a it, good free guide. It gives us an best. idea. That's Correct. it at, at its best. Okay. So um, what are, how long does it take? So if somebody has some glitches and things like that, on, and I'm sure it depends on what kind of glitch it is. Correct. Is it different for like, okay, I had a bankruptcy or a foreclosure, you know, back in 2010 or something versus if they had a, you know, a late payment on student loans, for example. So my process takes on average six to nine months with a client. Um, it can be as fast as one month. There's a lot of variables involved and it can, my longest client took up to a year. Um, I, I don't drag out the process. Mm -hmm. My clients only pay for results. So obviously I want to get the deletions off, um, as, as fast as possible, but even more important than the deletions is the educational piece that a lot of clients are, are missing. So that's where I tune in and, and I get to know all of my clients' life stories and, and I get to arrange their, help them with their finances. So it's not just credit repair. I, I want to make sure that they're set up for the future. Right. And know they what understand, to do. That they right. fully understand. And what you and I were talking about that. It's amazing how many people don't know. Correct. Don't know how um, to handle credit. They they don't understand how it works. I was uh, just saying that somebody thinks that if they had something bad, you know, a charge off or a collection or something, if they pay it tomorrow, then their credit score is going to jump 100 points. <laughs> I, I just had a uh, right here at the home show. I, I had a person came up to me and said, well, I, I just paid everything off. So I'm ready. You are not ready. I, new. I, I wish I would have talked, uh, spoken to you uh, a few weeks ago before yeah. you did pay it off. Uh, and I never tell my clients not to pay their debts. That's an right. ethical and moral question they have to answer themselves. And I educate them. I, I you know, Florida, for example, the statute of limitations five years. So I make sure my clients know that there's a possibility they might get sued if they don't pay that debt. The likelihood might be a lot less if it's a couple hundred dollars. Right. And I and I just get to see that throughout the experience of, of working with my clients. Um, the other myth that I find is that people um, don't understand. So if they are, um, you know, the things that go into a credit score, you know, I was very, very surprised that people don't realize that their income is not taken into consideration. Correct. Uh, credit score is, is not biased. It doesn't matter how old you are, what color of your skin, where you work, right. what family you came from. Right. Um, all it is, it's a snapshot of um of your responsibility and it's it's pretty straightforward pay your bills on time right i was gonna say so let's talk about some of the main things just to try and you know keep a good credit score i would imagine pay your bills on time is number one pay your bills on time um don't overextend yourself um the, that's a biggie people that's the you biggest. know you have a credit limit of a thousand dollars even if you your balance is a thousand two that's going to kill your score. Correct. So people don't realize that. The FICO score ranges from 300 to 850. So we have 550 points to play with. And utilization, what we're speaking about right now, that's worth 30% of your credit score. So 165 points. You can have an absolutely flawless credit score, um, 850, max out your credit cards, and you're under 700. And you're at that point, you're, you're not an and excellent rating. And so it's not just late payments. People think that, you know, it's, you know, that it's just late payments. Absolutely not. There's a lot of other things that go into it. What are the other things that go into well, it? With, with, um, with that also, um, the algorithm, the FICO algorithm wants to see you, uh, how you handle different types of debts. So they want to see at least two to three revolving accounts, which would be, would be your credit cards and one to two installment accounts, a mortgage, an auto loan, um, a personal loan, um, Next, next thing that's uh, quite important is your average age of account. So you don't want to close your uh, accounts down. Uh, I have clients that have had a card for five, 10 years. And, and be right before they came to work with me, they closed a credit card that had perfect standing because they're not using it. At the same time, um, I advise my clients, don't go shopping in the mall just because somebody offered you 10% off your initial right. purchase today. Right. You're never going to use that card. Even if you don't cancel it and it's a one-time purchase, at some point that credit card is going to shut that account down and it's going to affect you twice. You're going to get hit twice. One, you're going to lose the, your available limit. It's, it's going to shrink. Mm -hmm. And 
two, it's uh, your average age of accounts is, is going to shrink. So pay your bills on time. Don't <laughs> overextend yourself. Mm -hmm. um, keep your accounts open for as long as possible. Um, and then don't let a whole bunch of people pull your credit. <laughs> don't let the yeah, correct. Um, that's that's pretty much credit. It it's a, sounds a lot easier than uh, I know make it's, it to be. It sounds so simple, but um, but there's a lot more that goes into it. There's a lot more in the background. If you want more information on that, I'm sure Michael would be more than happy to talk to you the about more it. People I help. Uh, that's right. We can the help them we buy are. houses. We can help them buy cars, have better. And credit scoring affects everything these days. It, it, it affects your um, insurance on your house, employment. on your cars. Employment are pulling, uh, employers are pulling credit scores. So the, the better your credit score, the better uh, opportunities for you in life for better interest rates and better um, everything. So it is important. It's, it's, it's here to stay. It's not going away. <laughs> not so, so if you guys want to reach out to, uh, Michael, it is alpha credit recovery. His website I'm sure is running down at the bottom of the screen here. Thank you, Michael, Beautiful. for being Thank with you. us. I we appreciate, appreciate it. You. All Thank right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dylan Gaston with WeBeam TV and we are back at the Tampa home show at the convention center. Come on down. We're open until five o'clock today and we have some great vendors. This time I promised you another great vendor and I have one. This is Jaime from Purity Bay right that's right welcome thank, thank you, you for thank you for coming so you are a water purification system is that what we yes tell we, me tell me tell me we custom build the systems according to how the test comes out so the first step would be to actually analyze your water uh, we do that in about 10 15 minutes it's not a, a two-hour uh, sales cycle like a lot of the other companies but okay. uh, so we we give you all the information and we explain to you the differences between uh, what actual filters do softeners do anything you can find at the stores uh like home Depot or lowe's right, right. um so we we give you an education wise as far as what um what's out there and then we test your water and then we give you uh the results right then and there and then we give you the some a couple of options to to actually handle everything if you choose to handle uh one of the things that we have right now for the tampa area is a 10 stage processor mm -hmm. and it'll It'll reduce any of the heavy metals, uh, arsenic, mercury, um, cadmium six. Uh, also addresses the chloramines in the water, which is the the main the main concern in this area is chloramines, which is a mixture of chlorine and ammonium. In the water. In the water, yeah. Okay, so they have it like if you have um, public water, mm -hmm. uh, they have it in the water. The. Yeah, well, that's the way that they they disinfect the the, the municipality. The the city does a tremendous job. Uh, with the water as it is okay uh, they do a great money with the water that they have uh with the money that they have but obviously their standards are low because they're dealing with millions and millions of gallons so okay. it's really up to the customer to be responsible to uh, address it at their homes so while the city does a tremendous job with with what they do it can still there's much to be improved okay uh, most people are concerned with the uh, spots that the water leaves behind uh, right we call that the hardness yes yes, yes. Um, the wear and tear on the sinks the fixtures the faucets yes, the water yes. heaters all that yes all of that and yep. then of course the damages on your skin um, okay causes dry skin sure clogs because pores. you know if it's on the glasses and your dishwasher it's that same stuff is getting on your skin that's right, right. Okay. that's right so when you and handle then when you drink it Right. I mean, we, we, don't, we never do any medical claims, no health claims, no scare tactics. Sure. Um, but when you address all those kind of things, now you're dealing with uh, purified water uh, that you're drinking and cooking with um, for a whole home system. It's a multi-stage processor. Um, so you're, you're handling all the hardness, your, the, the contaminants that may or may not be in the water. And uh, because everything, one, one of the very unique things that we do um, with our system is everything protects, every stage protects the next layer so uh, th for that reason we give you a true lifetime warranty oh okay yeah it moves with you military loves us when you know they're, they're constantly moving oh yeah yeah true so, so you can take the whole system with you yeah oh, you treat it like an appliance you know just like a washer and dryer. or if you sell your home i would imagine it adds value absolutely uh when if you if you're selling your house uh we have we can actually do a de demonstration to the realtor okay. or to the future owner um, so that they don't think it's a, a cheap softener from Home Depot or Lowe's. And it tastes much better. Absolutely. I'm... Yeah. You're talking about bottle quality water, um, at your sink. Yeah. So yeah. That's same nice. tastes of, as, uh, you know, Dasani or Aquafina or any kind of purified water, but at the sink. So there's uh, a 10 stage processor that's at the main water line, usually in the garage or 
at the wherever the main water line is. Sometimes okay. in an older home, it has to be dug in the ground. Uh, usually, it's in the garage. And then underneath the sink, you have your five-stage commercial grade reverse osmosis, um, and that'll basically take out anything microscopic, and that gives you the purified water. Okay. Now, what about people who are a little further out in the country? They might be on a well, well water. Wells is a Tell different us a system. Bit about that. Uh, it would be an extra stage, uh, an extra couple stages before you'd get to the ten-stage processor. Uh, we have a, uh, what's called a uh, well-made system. Okay. And then we we do our ten-stage processor, and then we zap it with UV, which is ultraviolet light. Oh. So, the old school uh, uh, way to treat wells is uh, a big aerator. Which okay. you get rid of the hydrogen sulfide smell, the rotten egg smell, um, but uh, that doesn't really, you know, it gets air, because it aerates it out. They're 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 very big. They're they're costly to maintain. Okay. After that, you would go into a chlorinator, which is uh, again old technology. So the best thing to do is with a with a well mate and then a UV. You're pretty much handling anything, and then with our ten stage processor, we'll. we'll so they've it. really come a long way, haven't they? Well, we have. Yeah, <laughs> not they, not he they. has. Everybody else is still selling softeners or conditioners. Um, so basically what a softener is, is just one stage of what we're doing here. Okay. So a softener, the problem with softeners is they get, they get, um, it gets ruined by chlorine or chloramines. Okay. Oh, okay. It just damages them. So softeners. Which is already in the water. Which is in the water right. for sure. So. Um, it's old technology. Uh, so it's going to last you about a year or two years. Oh, okay. Now what most companies do is they'll add carbon to the resin yep, and that, that. they call that a conditioner. Okay. Now what happens with carbon and everybody's familiar with carbon, they're in your fridge filters or your, your uh, Brita filters, all the drinking yep. systems, okay. the pitcher types, all that. Uh, carbon starts to grow bacteria pretty quickly. Oh. So you have to be constantly changing the filters every oh. month, every couple of months. Uh, if not, bacteria starts to grow. Oh, okay. In fact, uh, when we've replaced old softeners or conditioners in, in uh, our new customers' homes, uh, when we cut the pipes, we realize that there's there's actually uh, sludge chlorine in. Grossness in there. Yeah. Look so this that. is the water coming from the city, going through an old softener or a conditioner, and then coming out to the house. And people don't know that this is going on. <sighs> That's going out to the house? Yeah, so this is what they Ew. were bathing in and Ew. washing clothes that and is all that kind of stuff. Gross. <laughs> so because the bacteria is not protected, it's definitely, uh, it's you know, it's, 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 it's cause for concern. It is. Yeah. It is. So to sell a product like that that's going to ha happen in a couple of years like this is pretty not okay. It's not very ethical. Right. right? I'm not so is saying this, that it's... So this is new technology that you guys have developed, huh? We have. Uh, we started that's with uh, four stages here. Now we're down, we're, now we're up to 10 stages. Uh, so the uh, silver protects the carbon from growing any kind of bacteria. Uh, the next thing we do is do we do soften the water. There's tons of benefits of softening the water, your hair, your skin. Okay. Um, long-lasting clothes, appliances, fixtures, uh, tons and tons of benefits. Now, unlike a softener, there won't be any sodium going back into the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're not gonna, it's not gonna kill grass, it's not gonna kill plants. Okay. Um, you know, a, a lot of bad reputation for softeners have that on right, the salt. Right, they do, right. they do. Last thing we do is uh, several stages of a copper zinc mixture. Okay. And this is what makes us, what uh, stands us out from everybody else. And uh, we put it in different parts, and, and this will address the heavy metals, the contaminants uh, that may or may not be in the water. And so you're completely handling everything. You're not, it's not a, a Band-Aid solution. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that is fantastic. So if you guys want more information, come on down to the show, or you can uh, reach them at puritybay.com, puritybay.com, or right. phone number? Uh, my personal number is 941-545-4765. You can also reach us at 888-94-FRESH. There we go. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, I mean, we appreciate it. Come on back. We got more people coming up. Hey, welcome back on my WeBeam TV watchers. We're, yes, we're day two at the 2019 Tampa Bay Home Show. This is the August version. I like the version, summer version, right? Right. We found our favorite chiropractors in Tampa Bay. Oh my gosh, I know every we get, we get you guys all the time. Yep. But here's something different that we did. So went over to see uh, Dr. Kaylee, right? And she's in her, uh, she's over there. I tried to get Casey yesterday, but he's like, nope. Nope, not happening. Not <laughs> happening. You get, get Dr. Kaylee. I'm like, okay, fine. So what what she did to me, actually, and I'm going to let you explain this okay. because um, we even actually took some little B-roll footage of it so yeah. you can kind of 
tell them what's going on. So a uh, Rob in the back is going to roll that video so you can actually talk and tell them okay. what's going on here. So what we did earlier was a thermography assessment. So basically this is the technology we use in the office. We scan the spine. So today we just did the neck, obviously, for the sake of not taking up right. close. Um, so we scanned his neck, basically, and it picks up temperature changes. And so the hot spots, if you will, along the surface of the spine, let me know where you have a problem area. So the spinal bones move out of alignment. They pinch on the nerve, and they create inflammation, which is why you feel different symptoms. And right. Pain which is also why you feel better when you take anti-inflammatories. Right, right. um, so the hot spots along the skin tell me basically how much work we have to do and how much of a mess are you really that I have to fix. And I, I tell you, it's I'm a mess and I know that. And it's, it's, it's I always, I've been in, I, I believe in chiropractic, first of all. I want everybody, awesome. I mean, I'm just going to be, I, I'm open with everybody as it is. But chiropractic to me is one of the best things that you could ever do. And if you don't feel good and if you're not feeling well, I would say almost 85% of the time, if not higher, it's because you're out of alignment. Your, right. your, your spine's not right. Right. And it's amazing that how much that does do now. Right. So, so let's, we're going to bring a picture up yeah. because the picture is <laughs> like, and it's kind of funny. I didn't say anything to you. No. So you literally, let's talk about this picture here. So this is an example of what these thermography scans look like. The white boxes on there are normal. That's no heat changes from side to side. It's a healthy nerve, healthy communication from your brain outward. If we have green bars, that's a mild temperature change. So a little bit warmer, a little bit of pinching. Blue is moderate. So there's more temperature than there was at the green right. level. And then the red means that we've got severe nerve pressure at that area. And I had a lot of red. You have a lot of red. You had three red bars. So the three red bars. So, and it's kind of funny. She... You said to me, yes. uh, high blood pressure, um, dizziness, numbness in your hand, especially your right hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yep, yep, and <laughs> yep. Right. So, okay, so that explains why, because I'm a gamer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not as big as gamer as my kids are, but mm -hmm. I still like my games. That, that explains a lot to me because I start playing these games and I get vertigo really bad. Yeah. I, I get really sick to my stomach. And right. I'm like, now that makes, and I don't sleep well. Right. So let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. So the areas where there's temperature changes along those nerves tell us what type of symptoms we can have in that area. So for example, that red bar at the top, that bone is called C1, it's Atlas. That's the brainstem. So those nerves are going up into the head and neck region, but it's also the kink in the hose, if you will, between the brain communicating down the spine to the rest of the body. So that area is the most important area in your spine because it's the gatekeeper between everything else. Right. So typically when those nerves are going up into the neck, that's when we see headaches and migraines. Symptoms that are associated with the brainstem. So that's why I said high blood pressure, anxiety, depression, sleep problems, temperature regulation, lots of important things up there. And then the lower part of the nerves that were on his picture yeah. um, are the nerves that are on the bottom of the spine. So the bottom of the cervical spine. Wow. So okay. going out the shoulders and into the hands. So you had four bars all in a row that had pressure on them. And those messages, just anatomy-wise, go out the shoulders and into the hands. And so it's not hard when you know where the spine goes and where the messages are supposed to be communicating to it's just a matter of finding it so let's talk about you and dr casey sure all right so you guys are married now we are congratulations thank Whoa. you <laughs> um and what got you guys into chiropractic for me i grew up seeing a chiropractor all the time for all my sports injuries like me and you were just talking yeah about. we're we're both um, we're both big athletes you wouldn't look at me and see i'm an athlete <laughs> but her you can see it but yes but we're, we're tired now both yeah, of us so. yeah um, okay. so i saw my chiropractor growing up from my sports injuries and he was the one that put two and two together you know like i just said to you the brain controls right. everything the nerves go here of course it makes sense if you have a symptom down the line that it may not be the hand that's the problem it may be where that nerve is coming from right so for me i just decided this just makes sense. I think it's cool. I'm going to copy your life. And I did exactly that. And I became a chiropractor. And I, that's exactly my conversation he's with my chiropractor. He's probably very proud of you. I still talk to him to this day, See? actually. Yes. Um, and then Dr. Case, um, he was never a chiropractic patient until later. He fractured his femur playing basketball. Um, oh. And so now one of his legs is shorter than the other. So being a cross-country runner, track runner, his pelvis was off. If yes. one leg is shorter, then your hips are crooked, right? So he started having knee pain and ankle pain and hip pains, which is a problem, obviously, when you're a collegiate runner. And someone finally recommended him to go see a chiropractor. And when his hip pain and his knee pain was relieving, right. it, of course, kind of made that same click for him. And uh, one of his best friend's dad was a chiropractor. And so 
he took off on that path too. That so. is so cool. Yeah. Okay, so where can people find you at? Because I, I, I got a feeling now I need you because <laughs> I know I've got issues going on. Yes, so uh, we're located, um, our address is technically Tampa, um, but we're just outside of West Chase. We're just south of Oldsmar on West Hillsborough Avenue. So okay. we're in the northwest Tampa area. Um, we practice together, obviously. We have a big population of pediatric and prenatal. Um, it's a big focus of ours. That's a little bit different than most chiropractors. Nice. Right. Um, but of course, we see everybody. We see the whole whole scope of things. Um, so that's where we're located. And then our website, obviously, navigatechiro.com is the easiest way to, to find more information about us. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking the time to coming <laughs> over and seeing us Absolutely. because I am pulling away. Her booth is always very busy. And there's always people over there because, you know, I think, I think society is waking up and going, hey, Hey, you know, this is this is a smarter way to do this. People are looking for different options. They're right. tired of being fed pills all day long. Exactly. So no pills. We used to be the weird ones. Everyone thought chiropractors were like witchcraft and voodoo. Yeah. I've heard it all. Magnus Get that voodoo fingers. away from me. Oh, yeah. I've heard it all. Um, now people come in and they're like, you know what? I don't like doctors. I'm like, cool. Me neither. Yep. There you <laughs> so, go. Well, thank you for stopping absolutely. by. We appreciate absolutely. it. Hey, look, I know you're not at the show today, but make sure you go see this young lady and her husband. His, her husband's awesome. And uh, especially if you need a little bit of adjustments and, or you need to find out what's going on. Yeah. Because that's the biggest thing, absolutely. you know, because knowing, uh, uh, knowing what's going on is half the battle. Exactly. Half the, all right. We'll see everybody later. We'll get some more interviews done. Hey, everybody. We're back. We're with PRP Wine International. Yeah, so tell us about what's going on here. Yeah, so PRP, we actually represent smaller vineyards from around the world. So that's where we specialize in at-home wine tasting experiences. We're actually doing mini versions of it here at the show today, see if we can help introduce people to wine that they absolutely love because they can't find our wines in any stores or restaurants. I, I was telling your, 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 your other person over there, you're going to be the most popular person here. <laughs> so, okay, so what ha how does this all work? Yeah. So normally we go out to people's houses. Like I said, we're recreating that experience here today. We sit you down, guide you through the different wines that we have, help you find a wine that's perfect for your palate. Um, because, you know, whether it's based off of a friend's recommendation or the pretty label at the store doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your favorite wine. So we take all of that guesswork out of it and let you actually sample stuff before you decide if it's something you want to purchase. And you deal with all wines, reds, white, blushes, sweets. Over 250 different types of wines uh, from all around the world throughout the year. Uh, how do people get a hold of you and find you? So we're always out at different shows, whether it's here at the home shows at the convention center or different festivals in your local area. Um, you know, we like to participate in all kinds of community events. And then we offer um, discounted pricing for our tasting experiences for you to sign up for your first one at the home. Okay, so do you have a website? Yep, prpwine.com. And do you have any social media where people can find you? Yep. You can find us on Facebook, either here for the local Orlando office or from our corporate offices, which are based out of the Chicago area. Excellent. All right. If you're looking to get some wine and understand why you like that wine, these are the people you need to see. We'll be back after this.